Minnesota. But here, a cool night by the Lake Shore as Toronto FC look to try and get some momentum after a decent end to that game against Montreal. But here's an early chance for Philadelphia. Yeah. They've taken the lead after just 30 seconds here. Otero <laughs> down the line for Wagner. Decent cross into the middle. And it was the substitute scoring the goal. And one out of nothing, no intensity, go to the ball, too much space for Wagner, and then you just wonder what Chris Mavinga's thinking, just lets Sergio Santos drift off his back shoulder. Well, Philadelphia back in possession quickly. Wagner's ball in, Montero was awaiting it, and lash towards goal, it's a glorious Well, they've got all their uh, big boys up. Watch over here at this far post, Shabilko. As they try to scrape it, oh, it's off again. A little deflection in front, and Kai Wagner has given Philadelphia. Time break as the team's just going to try and get a draw. Well, now they're going to get itself an opportunity to win this game, and it's really come down to just set pieces. They haven't done much all game, but on these set pieces, they've been dangerous, and there it's just a ball where it's whipped in an area, and you've got to do a better job if you're Montreal of getting that ball out of danger. It's tough for Bentham as he can't see much. A lot of bodies in front of him with deflection. Now an Orlando defender has gone down clutching his face. The assistant referee saw what happened and has flagged, but players allowed to continue for the time being with Corey Burke. There may be further action to be taken. There's Wagner deflecting it in. Kai Wagner scores on the Orlando City defender. Now it looks like he's trying to shield him away, but now the play develops, the whistle isn't blown, rightfully so from the referee, because that is why you have video review. And but the question is whether or not Casper... Union just made the double switch. The visitors appear to be ready to do the same. Wagner, this time off the right foot. Headed down, goal, Madaya! one nothing. Can he get inside that far post? A beautiful ball from Wagner and Bedoya. He's not hanging around. He gets on the wrong side of Armisen and he puts the ball into the back of the net. It's been a game so far from the Union where they've had to dig in, they've had to suffer. It will be Burke who just looks like he's going to try a shot from this kind of range. Actually, he'll leave it here. It's Wagner. Goes underneath the wall and he scored! Down. They're now level with a man advantage! where the ball should have been positioned at the tip of the box when we just saw a replay that has him backward of the half moon line. What a bizarre turn of events. Look. And so might he be someone else we are seeing on the field for the U.S. this summer as the ensuing free kick sent in by Wagner. Ketterer didn't get there. Casper Shabilko. He's wide open right now. The ball comes in, and he's just, they just let him go. He drifts on. We're getting lost in space on the free kick that led to the goal. It'll be Wagner again. To send in the out. Swinger, the header redirected from right. Well, it is another set piece for the Philadelphia Union, and it is going to come across and put that one out for a corner. Jamiro Montero to take it this time. Stooping low with the header. Ketterer the save. For the place on set pieces. We can't say that enough. See if he's a target here yet again. Burke came through. It's a shot from distance. Oh, and it's put home. It's time for Montero. But what they do, they keep it alive. The ball's then put back into the box by Wagner. It's a shot. And give credit to Glesnes because he's coming at him at pace. He had to adjust himself very quickly to get the ball into the back. Philadelphia, they play the right way, they pass the ball around. 
Oof. It was Alalem let that one get away, and then he potentially make it a back three whenever Amundsen gets forward, obviously. But more often than not, he's going to have to sit and just help out with the back four. But maybe you'll see Maxi Morales drop off when they don't have possession of the ball. Maxi's right. going to have to drop from that number 10 and just support Alfredo Morales and support as a double six. It's a shame, really, because I wanted to see 11 v 11 may the best team win. Now we're not going to get to see that game. And I was excited to see what Gideon Zalala could do with some extended playing time. Now Whoa. this is driven across right in front, and it's Sabilko, and he bangs it in. And Sean Johnson is complaining about offside. But in the 26th minute, Philadelphia has taken three minutes. And overall this season. Yes. FC Cincinnati is 52 in favor of New York City. Now it's 52-48 in favor of Philadelphia. Kai Wagner has Montero on the left-hand side, edge of the box. Wagner making the overlapping run. Instead, back up top to Martinez. Back out to Kai Wagner. First time he'll drive it into the box. Swing and a miss. There's a chance that James can get forward. Sands off of his chest, has an opportunity here, some space, he'll drive it across, Tati Castellanos tries to take a shot, it's blocked, Morales plays into space, chance for New York City, top of the six, Pesnitz knocks it away, Maxi tries to get possession, and Philadelphia able to get out. Oh, James Sands, how often does he get forward in that position, that's what he needs to do, if you're going to replace Anton Tenehome as a right back for New York City Football Club, you've got to attack in this team. And he does that. It's great football. The minute, it's a draw, 1-1. Tati Castellanos in the 53rd minute. Casper Shevilko back in the first half. But the big moment for New York City was the 21st minute when Gideon Zalalem was sent off for a straight red card. Zalalem starting a kick opportunity here for New York City. Maxi drives it to the top of the 18. Dummy through. Collins is on it. Tries to get by a man, and Philadelphia comes up the other way. Chance here on the counterattack. New York City trying to get numbers back. This is just back and forth. Bodies are flying, and the play continues. Here's the cross, top of the box, cut off by Kai Wagner. Still waiting to see a light blue shirt come to the midfield line for a substitution. Well, at the moment, when you've got the advantage and things are going well, why change it? I criticized a moment ago that maybe around that 60 minute mark you'd make the change, but then all of us, it's 1 1. That's enough for New York City to have a home game. The greatest thing about decision day is that anything can happen in the final 20 minutes of games. I mean, anything can happen. These games are all pretty much very tight. There's not a lot of goals, there's a goal in every game, pretty much. But there's not a lot of goals out there, and it can tell you how tight things are in these games. So the story can change between now and the final whistle. Love this reaction from NYCFC, though, Joe. In the second half, nice touches on the ball for Philadelphia. You, you can see why there's a lot of people got eyes on that young kid. He is everywhere right now. So cute little player. Loves to get on the ball. And Philadelphia enjoying a bit more of the ball here. They were being dominated against New York have to try and find a way to just fight back and get possession here good ball in this space this is Jamiro Montero squares it across Amundsen hooks it towards the far touch line James Sands tries to work it upfield head Jesus Medina Sands continues his run Medina plays it to him now opportunity James Sands on a cross no, he goes to Medina instead. Tries to slip it ahead for Maxi Morales. Medina back on the ball. Tries to cut it across, but he does win a corner. The man down due to the red card in the 21st to Gideon Zalala. Tati Castellanos pulled one back in the 53rd minute. A fantastic header on the feed from Maxi Morales. But it's the union on the move right now. And Medina will be booked. His foul against Kai back. Uh, push yourself further up and relieve that pressure a little bit, but it looks like Philly are absolutely gone for it here. There might be a chance for New York to look for that counter attack. Got to get a win it. by Philadelphia. They get a ball oh, by Johnson. Johnson over Tati. Chance here at the six and can't get a shot off. Oh. Wow. Philadelphia.